All right, hi everyone, here I'm back with another wine uh, video on how to use wine. If you didn't check the, the previous video, you can check them on how to install wine, which wine to use, if using vanilla wine or the other, you know, wine staging, wine gallium 9, and how to create a wine prefix, etc. Actually, I'm going to tell you another time and you will, I'll show you how to create another wine prefix. And as I said in the previous video, I'm going to install, yeah, let's say two uh, GOG games. So I'm going to create a specific prefix for these two games, which the game are System Shock 2. So I'll call it S Shock 2. All right. Actually, dot S Shock 2 which is going to be 32-bit because I don't need the 64-bit here and the other game is consortium or consortium always with a dot all right which I'm going to do I'm going to install 64-bit because I'm not sure if, if the game is 32-bit or whatever all right now you will see that Wine will create the two wine prefix, the 32 bit and the 64 bit. All right. And then from here, I'm going to, to tell Wine to run the, actually, let me make it shorter. To run the setup for System Shock and for Consortium. I, I'll go, I'm going to do, I'm going to install both of them on the, at the same time. All right. Yeah. So, and then when they they are installed, we'll be able to run the the main X. All right. The game dot X. Okay. Or the link, because sometimes with COG games, sometimes the X doesn't work. So it's better if you run the 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 link. You know. That, that Gox give you all oh, the the shortcuts I mean so short cut dot LNK normally it's LNK and then I'm going to tell you the difference between uh, running an X file or running MSI or LNK so everything that's not an X so you need to add something to wine all right to do that I'm going to First, uh, we run System Shock. So Wine Arch, as I said, I need a, a 32-bit Wine Prefix. Wine Prefix. Prefix. Yes. It's going to be in S Shock too. In my home home folder. So home dot as shock to you don't need actually to 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 put the dot here the dot means that the the folder is going to be is gonna ha hidden all right so if you have a file manager it's going to be hidden unless you press ctrl h or you select to show the hidden files then wine downloads as you can see down and then press tab you don't need to write everything then set up uh, system shock yeah this one and just gonna run it in the meantime I'm preparing the other one prefix yeah you can just stay here a little bit dot consortium wine DAO loads press tab to auto compile C, press tab and here consortium you can see I'm you don't need to write everything just press set up then there, there are if you press tab here they will it will tell you that there is consortium there is far cry there is system shock as you can see the only that start with C is consortium so as soon as you press C and then tab is going to auto compile to the the only one oh 
Wine cannot find. Yeah, sure. I need to press also. Exe. Yeah. Be sure to, to actually that the, the file is the right one. All right. So we can return to System Shock. I'll go to Option. I don't need actually a Create Desktop Icon. Not, not at all. I don't need it. Here, I'll take care of it later. I have to say that I read and accept the EULA, and then I'm going to install it. So the GOG is installing the game as it does on Windows. Nothing crazy, nothing new. Uh, let's see here. Install op installation option. Create desktop icon. I don't need it. Check file integrity. No. And the game is going to install in here. See GOG Games Consortium, the Master Edition. And it requires 6 gigs, which I have. Oh, I need the EULA. Close. Install. It's gonna take longer, by the way, because it's uh, way heavier, like six gigs. This is maybe one gig or something. Now I have to tell something about Go Games that sometimes the installer crash, the installer crashes. Uh, it's no big deal because, yeah, maybe you just see it, maybe not. All right, most of the time the games it installed even if the the installer crashed. I was installed. This is VC Run 2010. Runtime error. As you can see, there is an error, and this error is for the system shock. I'll press OK. You know, it's installed, installed su successfully. There is another one, and another one. You can see that it's correspond to, to system shock because the error are actually where uh, on, on the system shock terminal. Let me do it until later, maybe. All right, so you just saw some errors, but probably there is no other. Pro there are no problems, and the game just successfully installed. Now I'm not gonna launch the game here, but I'm going to exit, and I'm gonna tell you why not. To I'm not gonna launch in the game. So. If you are running games, especially that are uh, let's say ten year old or even more. All right, maybe the game won't start at 1080p or it won't start at your correct resolution. So in Windows and on Linux with the native game, this is not a problem because the game is just gonna adapt or the, the resolution is gonna adapt to the screen. So we'll just see the entire the game and the entire screen just on a wrong resolution. With Wine Games, it's gonna mess with your resolution. So you will see like a a part of your screen zoomed and it's gonna definitely definitely mess with your resolution so if the game is a little bit old you wanna uh, where I am here you want to run this command wine config all right actually before doing that I have to tell that once the prefix is created, the 32-bit prefix, you don't need to, to, to tell uh, every time because it's 32-bit, it's not going to change, all right? So you want to run wine uh, config where you can set some library override staging where you can select CSMT for to run the most important patch of uh, when staging, you can select Gallium 9 if you have those two patches installed. What I'm going to do is I want to emulate a virtual desktop and I'm not gonna, by default it's 800 by 600. Actually I want to emulate at my native resolution, which is 19, which, which is which is 1080p. All right, so 1920 per 1080. I want to click apply. All right, right now, I would like to run the game, uh, I need to find it first. I didn't create a desktop shortcuts. So I'll need to go in uh, the SS 
System Shock 2, Drive C, GOG Games, System Shock, the only one installed. As you can see, it auto I auto compiles a lot with tab by pressing tab. Then here, I would like to press tab again, which shows all the all the files, everything that's inside this directory. Actually, uninstall, start. All right, there it is. As you can see here, this is the file that I need. Start.x. I guess star dot x all right to say again it's already 32 bits so I don't need to uh, tell every time the, the, the wine arch the right prefix system shock 2 and not another wine prefix wine always you need wine and then the game uh, uh, launcher all the game main uh, uh, exe all right as soon as I run it oh okay nice <laughs> it's not gonna run as soon as I run it you can see that this virtual uh, prefix has just has, has been created now the game doesn't run I don't really know what's going on here because the first time that they try to run this game anyway some GOG games, as I said, need to you need to go and uh, launch actually not the main the main start X or game.x but the the shortcuts or the, the link. I don't know why. No idea. Well actually the problem is that I didn't create a desktop shortcut, but with every go game actually an entry it's going to create in users so one prefix drive C then users your username my username is user then profile oh, actually no maybe uh, no actually no wait users public and then start menu programs gog system shock 2 all right so one prefix all right drive c users then public then start menu then programs then god.com if you have different games installed on the same uh, one prefix you will find some some other games here. The only one that I have is System Shock. So as long as I press Tab, it's gonna auto compile the only file that's present in the in there. And here you have System Shock do the main link. This is the link to the to run the game. Actually, as I said, uh, you need to add something if you want to to run something that's not .exe. And this is start. So you want to tell Wine, you want to run Wine with this, uh, this sub program actually, start.exe. You want to run Wine with start. Actually, I'll show you without. You can see Wine bad exe format. All right. So to do so, you need, as I say, to add start. So let's see now what's going on. If, yeah. All right. The game is running and the game is running. I think this is actually maybe I would like to maybe to turn the desktop audio a little bit down. All right. As you can see by default, the, the resolution is super low. I mean, this, I don't know, maybe it's 400 or something. And if you don't run, if I didn't run this game uh, on a virtual, uh, on a virtual desktop, all right, the resolution will be completely screwed. So always, if the, yeah, sorry, 640 by 480. Always run 
No, this is gamma. Yeah, I want this one. Done. All right, here we are. So always run in a virtual deck. So this is very important. If the game is old, I'm gonna be sure that it's very low. If not, if you're not, if not, you're not going to hear me. All right, 60 should be enough. Yeah, actually, it's four thirds the game, or at least the menu. Let's start a new game. Let's start normal. Why not? All right, and here I am. Welcome to the Ramsey Center UNN recruitment facility. Please watch your step when leaving the train. The ground shafts at the end of the hall will take you to the street level training and recruitment center. Please proceed to the grab shaft. As you can see, I'm just playing uh, Wind of Game on Linux. I think actually on Steam you have a, a native Linux version, but maybe it uses Wine. So. Here is the not uh, yeah is here I'm playing the Windows X so the Windows binaries. All right, that's it. And quit to main menu and they quit. All right, as you can see, everything went quite okay. At this point, uh, you selected the right resolution, so you can reopen Wine Config and uncheck emulate a virtual desktop all right and if you run the game again yeah it runs at the right resolution it doesn't mess with your resolution so as i said if the game is old try to run a, a, on a virtual desktop which can easily be your native resolution no big deal and then set the resolution and then uh, unchecked or disabled the virtual desktop. All right, as we can see, I just installed the installed this game, and actually here I would like to to cancel. Oop, not the right thing to do. A field style. All right, and here, for example, what the fuck is going on? Oh yeah, sure. All right, here, for example, the game is a sh la uh, launches thanks to a shortcut. Dot link. All right, so in the meantime, consortium is still installing. Yes. So I guess I'm, let's take another five minutes or something like that, maybe, maybe even more. So in the meantime, I can, uh, yeah, in the meantime, I just stop <laughs> and I'll be back as soon as possible. All right, here we are back, and actually the game just crashed. The error here, runtime error, as before. But as, as the installer say, the installation was uh, successfully uh, accomplished. Uh, this is actually a more recent game, so it probably won't mess with my resolution. Yeah, actually, I'm not going to launch it anyway. I don't trust it. I was going to launch, but maybe not. So, at this point, I have to, uh, as I have no no desktop shortcut, I have to go to the to the game prefix, drive C, go games consortium, etc., and then consortium dot x. So co dot all right actually before doing this i will uh i will set a wine prefix i will i will change the and i will set a virtual desktop all right wine prefix 
equal this symbol consortium wine config pack and I'm going to set my native resolution as, as usual 1080 oh shit <laughs> yeah that looks strange 1080 all right now I'll try to run the main X and let's see if this time works if not I'll try the, the, the shortcut, the start menu shortcut let's go yeah actually this time let me see okay the audio is low also this time the resolution would have been messed as you can see it's way it is way uh, smaller than 1080p yeah all right I'm actually I'm quite lucky because the game are just running out of the box video yeah this is the resolution so if you try to run this game and you run without a virtual um, desktop it is going to mess your resolution all right yeah native full screen laptop or saving blah 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 apply now this game is quite uh, recent so I'm going to show you the differences between uh, uh, actually first let me see if the game runs then if it runs I'm going to show you the difference between wine, wine staging and wine gallium 9 all right Fuck. All right. The game run actually quite okay. There is nothing too crazy to render here, I guess. Looks quite cool. Never played this game actually. I actually saw. I'm sorry for the developers because they get it for free on GOG. Now here I see some f frame drops. Can't see shit. Actually, I don't know if right now there is a problem because the the screen is dark. Maybe I can check it. Yeah, there are maybe some errors, some problems with the game. <coughs> but this is good because I'll... Yeah, actually I have no idea what's going on. The screen is completely black. So I'm going to try to fix this game. And I'm going to do on the next video where I'm going to talk about wine, uh, wine tricks. All right, and let's see if I can get to to fix this game. All right, but first, maybe save current state, yeah. OK, 
game. What? All right, let me try to reload. To see if there is if this problem is just uh, an exception or something that normally won't happen. All right, here I am. Now I can see. All right, so I have no idea what was the problem. So I'm not gonna uh, wind tricks to fix anything because the game runs. I'm going to show you right now the differences between wine. When actually I'm going to do in the next video yeah because it will be quite long so I'm going to do it in the next video all right I guess that was it now I can actually uh, close here I can uncheck emulate a virtual desktop all right, and now I can launch the game, and the game is going to launch. No, it's not going to launch the correctly, or at least the menu. Yeah, I kind of, I have no idea. Apply. Okay. Okay, let's go back. Let's disconnect. Let's try again. All right. Right now it's native resolution. Yeah, perfect. So, really, this is. This can be a big problem, okay? Especially if you are running old game, always make sure to run at the first time with a virtual desktop set. Uh, you can set to whatever you want because it's going to change. But then set in in-game the resolution, the, your native resolution, and then you can uh, disable the virtual desktop. This is very important because every time it's going to mess with your resolution and it's, it's going to be a problem if if that happened all right if your resolution is messed up you can run x render s dash s and then your resolution which in my case is uh, 1080p all right so if your resolution is messed up because you forgot to set a virtual desktop no problem just open a terminal you know and run xrand-s and then your native resolution all right that was it for this video on the next video i'm going to show you the differences between uh, yeah one uh, vanilla wine wine staging and wine gallium 9 and i'll see you in the next video